Bedtime Stories. I'm here with Mark Fogelson. And <clears throat> sometimes it seems. Sometimes it seems. <laughs> As we're getting older? Yeah. <laughs> sometimes it seems like sometimes it, it seems disappears like that. We're getting older, <laughs> yeah. I know. <laughs> you want to know about the song, though. Okay, so, so, so this song that you, you know, asked me about the, the Brown Eyed Girls on where it started, and I, I couldn't really tell you where that started exactly, but I could, I can remember exactly where this started. So, so, yeah, so we're sitting, my, my wife and, and daughter and I were sitting in uh, the little farmhouse in the living room. Our daughter was 10 years old, and uh, I think my wife and I were sitting there reading, and she was probably playing with Barbie dolls, if I remember right. I don't know. And all of a sudden, she looked up and she said, when can I date? <laughs> Is it true? And, and I looked at we looked at her. 10 years old and you're worried about dating my god i thought what in uh -oh. the world is going on with our kids nowadays this is terrible you know 10 years old is just stupid and <laughs> but but luckily this is true too but luckily my wife and i had already talked about it so we we just i just calmly turned to her and i said you can't date till you're 16. and she said okay never asked again never oh. all she wanted to know was when she could date Okay. And so, when she was turning sixteen, it was it was a golden birthday, right? And went on the sixteenth, and and I said to myself, "Okay, Dad, it's time that you write another song for your daughter." And uh, so I started writing this song that was in my head. It's gonna be a good song about my daughter, you know. But Roland, I guess the part that I'm learning about this songwriting business is that. My job in, in the songwriting stuff isn't to make the song into something that my head wants it to be. My job is to let the song come through me and let it become what it wants to be rather than what my head wants it to be. So anyway, this song really isn't about my daughter. Um, it's, it's more about my wife and I. And, and, and what we're learning, what we're still learning, is that when it gets to be our age, it's pretty easy to forget what it's like to be 16, what it's like to fall in love at 16. And that's why we call it sometimes it seems, it's just part of the chorus. So that's exactly where that, I can just still see that old farmhouse, I can still see the daughter sitting there, and came to me. So it's more about my wife and I than, yeah. than anything else and what we're learning. But that's where it came from. And so sometimes it seems when you're going from a spot of old looking young? Or? Well, of course, sometimes it seems um, we've forgotten 16 um, and what it's like to be young. Sometimes it seems uh, we've forgotten 16 and what it's like Fall in love. Oh, that's, that's a rhyme. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And so, when you're looking at this song, because I'm, I'm, I'm doing, I'm sitting here and I'm looking, I'm doing the same thing. And I'm, <coughs> our granddaughter just turned sixty <laughs> in July, so it's like, yeah. and I was just thinking exactly. Sometimes it seems it's just sort of a song in itself. Yeah. yeah. It's one of those. One of the songs you lay back, push on the rocking chair, and say, "Sometimes it seems." Well, we uh, we tend to forget what it's like, I think, and so I think that having a daughter at that time maybe helped us remember a little bit about what it's like. And then the song goes on to talk about, you know, hopefully as as we age, we'll we'll still remember that. We'll still remember what it's like to be young and fall in love because once you fall in love with someone and you live together for a long time, you're together for a long time, it's like you forget about what it was like to be young. So that's what the song is about. Mm -hmm. 